What's going on guys? This is KNST390 here. Welcome back to a new franchise. Now we've been doing some look back to some older franchises and it really got me the urge to do a new one. Now I have been doing some in the past that have been challenge oriented. This one I want to just do a normal franchise. Take a team that's not really good, build them up and try to be a contender. Now with this franchise though, what we're going to do differently, I guess, than the others is that we're going to do this one a long time. I'm planning on doing this, this will be like our main franchise we're going to be doing until MLB 19 comes out. So we'll be doing this, like, I'm hoping to do, like, maybe 20, 30 years of this franchise. That's kind of my idea with this one. Now, before we go any further, if you guys do enjoy these, please hit that subscribe button so you guys do know when I go live every single time in this video. And drop a like if you do enjoy the franchise videos. And also, give a shout out to uh, SeatGeek, they are sponsoring this video. If you guys don't know what SeatGeek is, they're as an app or a service that they do for buying tickets. Green is good, red is bad. Use promo code KNASTY, K-N-A-S-T-Y, at SeatGeek for first-time users for $20 off. A link to that will be in the description down below. Um, so, I just downloaded, I didn't even realize this, that Operation Sports did come out with an end-of-season roster. So, I have never used these. And I was thinking about teams we've done. Now, we've done the Orioles. We've done the Rays. We haven't done the Blue Jays. We've done the, we haven't done the White Sox. Indians are good. We've done the Tigers, kind of. Um, we've done the Royals. We haven't done the Twins. Haven't done the Angels. We've done the A's. We've done the Mariners. We ha we've kind of done the Rangers. Uh, I want to do the American League because I like having DH. I want to try the Blue Jays. I think that'd be a fun one to do because we have Vlad. We have a big time prospect. Bo Bichette's a good prospect. They have Nate Pearson's an okay one. Um, so GM contracts off. Uh, other than that, that looks good. So let's just get this set up. Uh, let's just start it in spring training. I want to make sure all our settings are right. I know sometimes this like auto um, corrects itself. So I want this all manual except for scouting. You guys are telling me like K nasty like just scout yourself. I'm bad with it. <laughs> I'm just not good with it. Um, I want to make sure injuries are off. If you guys are wondering where you find injuries, go to general, then go to advanced, and there's injuries. So if you ever want those off. That's where you find them. So let's take a look. Top prospects we have probably, okay, he's number seven. So he's still pretty high. Vlad Guerrero Jr., I mean, Glaber's number one. Soto's two. Acuna is three. Bueller's four. King Reeves, that's five. Otani, six. Vlad, um, what else do we have? Bo Bichette, yep, mentioned him. He's at 17. Danny Jansen, a catcher, okay. I don't know too much about Danny. Oops, uh, I saw the I saw Tampa and I just got a flashback. Is Nate Pearson not a top 50? Casey Mize is 50. Uh, let's just take a look at the roster, see what we're working with. So Stroman, he's only 26. Sanchez only 25. Estrada's 34. We might trade him. Sean Reed Foley, he's a youngster who looks pretty promising, so we'll probably keep him around. He's from Guam. That's interesting. Taylor Guri, Guerrieri? I uh, yeah, he's 25 years old already. He hasn't played yet, but we're gonna give him a chance. Mark Leiter. All right, where's Nate Pearson's only a B? Okay, David Paulino. He used to play for the yeah former Astro. Tuck your jersey in, David. Uh, I think this dude's failed multiple drug tests too, if I remember right. Uh, Mike Housechild. He's 28. Adam Klofenstein. I think it's Adam. Yep, Adam Klofenstein. Uh, B potential, 18 years old. Not any A's except for uh, Reed Foley in our pitching. Bullpen, Danny Barnes is a young guy. Relatively, he's 28. Bignani is 27. We got Ken Giles. I definitely want to trade Ken Giles. Uh, they got him in real life. I mean, he's only 27. We can maybe rock with him. I don't know. We'll, we'll probably trade him because I don't think we're going to be good for a couple years. He's By the time he's good, he might be a free agent. Uh, we got Russell Martin at catcher. We'll definitely move Russell Martin. He's 34. There's Danny Jensen, Reese McGuire. Is a promising prospect. Uh, we have Justin Smoke. He's always really good. Uh, I don't know. He is a free agent at the end of this year, so I'll probably look to move him. Unless we don't get... I mean, I'll keep him and just get the draft pick if we don't get fair value. Devin Travis. He's still only 27, three years of service time. We have Guriel Jr., promising young player. Can't really hit yet, but the, the, the feeling is there. Uh, Kevin Biggio, I believe that is uh, Craig's son. Born in Texas, so I'm assuming so. There's Vlad at third. Almeida's Diaz we have as well. Solardi we have as well. He can play all over the field. I think I might start. 
I think it's probably best to start Vlad in the bigs. For the simple fact that players overalls will jump a lot when they play in the bigs, I feel like. Bo Bichette at short, I think I don't think he's ready yet. We also have Urena, Richard Urena. Uh, we have Tulo, who we'll probably move on from. Warmoth is not a bad uh, prospect. So there's some good prospects already here. Dwight Smith Jr., another outfielder. Um, and then there's Tescar Hernandez. He's 25 and 8 potential, so that's interesting. Kevin Pilar, Jonathan Davis. There's actually some pretty good, I mean, not great prospects, but there's a lot of Bs. Billy McKinney, former Yankee prospect, if I remember right. Uh, Griffin Conine. Is that Jeff's son? Maybe if he was born in Florida. Might be. Uh, let's make sure we get our sponsors. So let's do per game. Let's do per run. And I guess another one per game. Perfect. Uh, let's make sure our scouts are the best we can get. So we have International West, Central, and West. All right. Well, we can upgrade the Central. We don't have an East scout. And we can... No, we actually have a really good West scout. International scout we can upgrade. So we just need to get an East scout. All right. And there we go. Boom. We got all our scouts. Let's take a look what we're ranked for. Like, oh, we're in the Grapefruit. Um, well, let's sim to the regular season and see where we're, like, ranked as a team for, like, what they think we are. 20th, so not that good. Let's uh, get rid of some dead weight and see what we can get for it. So, first off, Russell Martin. I don't think there's any need for us to have him. We can get Austin Hayes. Okay, but we have a lot of B. Uh, can I get an A? Reyes Mar Maranta is not terrible. Um, Cal Quantrill, Josh Naylor, Ryan Weathers, uh, Buddy Reed, Ryan Weathers isn't bad, Verdugo, Sam, uh, there's Sam Howard, Socrates Brito, just a great name, Nolan Gorman, he's a big time prospect, only a B potential, Chad Cool, three Bs, but like I said, we have a lot of Bs, I want to see if a team will offer us an A, or maybe a guy who I think is just a really good prospect, Seth Romero, Victor Victor Mesa, so he's in this game, he just got signed by the Marlins, well, Banfield's an 18-year-old catcher. That's interesting. Um, okay, we... Oh, we can get Kyle Murray? <laughs> I might do that. We get an A potential reliever, but he's freaking 25. He's 6 one overall. What's his speed? 82. He's not even that big of a prospect because he's of his age and his overall in this. I, I mean, I think in real life, I mean, he's... What? He was the 8th pick. I might get him not in this trade. I think we can get more. Brian Matta. Okay. Tanner Houck. Jalen Beeks. Bobby Bradley. Ooh, Bobby Bradley I don't mind. I might do that for Bobby Bradley. Ooh, we get Nick Prado and Khalil Lee. Those are not. Those are some good ones. Those aren't A's, but I like those. I'm going to do that. Or was it? And we also get a starter who's 24, but too young. 19 year old B potentials. We'll do that. And we save some money. What is our budget actually? I forgot to check that. Um, Right now we're at 63 million. I mean, our budget's probably around 80 or so. So it's not that high. Um, All right. Let's see. Pilar's still got three years of service time. Same with uh, Solarte's got two. I don't know. Let's see what we can get for him. We actually, this is different that we actually have a halfway decent pro farm system, so I don't need to just dump all our big, like, our big time big leaguers. I want to, you know what? I'll trade Stellarte for Kyle Murray. How about that? I think that trade will probably go, because like I said, in real life, that would never happen. But because he's only 60 overall, B potential, I want Kyle Murray. So we got the Heisman winner. Now, Estrada, we can probably get a good haul for Estrada. Let's see what we can get. Maybe not, actually. Garrett, I was thinking that was Forrest Whitley, and I was like, I'll do that for Forrest Whitley. Um, hmm. I'm just seeing if there's any names that I've liked in former uh, rebuilds we've done, and I'll go after those guys. Jose Israel Garcia. Who's a center fielder? We could get just another center fielder. He looks pretty good, actually. I'll take him. Tayscar, oh, he has a lot of value, but I want to keep him. He's only 25. He may fly up. 
and overall too low. I'll take anything. Just clear off the money. Oh, we can get actual talent for him. Alan Cordoba? Okay, that's a name. Will Smith. Sam Howard? He's 25. Pavin Smith. Let's get Pavin Smith. Um, Let's see. Danny Barnes is 4 million for the next two years. No, he's not. He's in the final year of his deal. So that's telling me incorrect. I think that's really it of players. He doesn't, it's telling me these people have like incorrect contracts. I hate it when it does that. All right. Um, I guess let's take a look. We can get for smoke. Probably not a lot. Just remember, we can just get him a draft pick for him. So I, I want to see an A potential. If I don't see an A, I don't care. I want to stud in return. Let's just take the draft pick. We may even keep him. Um, he's always really good. He's like won MVPs before. Yeah, we're not getting any A potentials. Ken Giles, I, I mean, he's only 27, so I will keep him. But we do get an A, so I'll probably move him. Um, another A. What was that? Travis Swaggerty? Okay. Peter Alonzo. So, Rhea Ruiz, but he's already 23. AJ Reed, but he's 24. Mighton. I might do that. It's a shortstop. We do have Bo Bichette, though. Eh. Ethan Hankins, a starter. Um, he must have just been a draft pick because I don't re ever remember seeing him. Yeah, let's take Ethan Hankins. We'll get an, we'll get an eight potential. Let's see what his uh, true potential is. He doesn't know how to do this. Go to attributes and then go to batting and fielding. He's a 90 potential, so it's the lowest A you can have. Um, but it's always good to see what someone's true potential is. Speaking of which, I want Vlad on the major league team. He has 99 potential. I think that's fair. All right, starters. Let's have uh, Guerrero on the bigs. I mean, I know we're not going to be that good of a team, which is fine. I mean, I'm almost like, let's just get a high draft pick. So, we have Kendris Morales. I might trade him. Gurriel and Devin Travis. All right. We do need a backup third baseman. Actually, let's add uh, Almias Diaz. Brandon Drury's only 25? I feel like he's so much older. He's been in the big since 2015. That would explain it. Bo Bichette? I don't think he's ready. So let's put... Uh, let's give Urena a chance, I guess. And let's have Bo Bichette just playing uh, AAA. And get at-bats every day there. Um, other than that, I think we're pretty much good. Our AAA ha team has a lot of talent. Our AA team has too many players. So we have to add some to AAA. And then we can get uh, the season started. We'll probably on this episode, how long has it been? About 15 minutes. Um, we'll probably go through the draft on this episode. Probably what we'll do. All right. Um, I'm going to let them just do the lineup. Oh, we have too many people in the organization. Okay. Just get rid of some dead weight. You're at 31. You can retire. <laughs> All right, that should be good. Auto fix. Can you auto fix the lineup? Right, I guess it did it. So let's look at the lineup we got. Pilar, Urena, Morales, Vlad at third. Yeah, it's fine. I don't think his defense is going to be great. I kind of want him batting over Kendris Morales. I want Guriel playing over, um, yeah, let's have him, I want McKinney playing over, eh, Greach, no, I guess he'll just be on the bench, I want Guriel playing over Morales, though, just because he's a B potential, he's a good fielder, but Devin Travis, eh, no, Devin Travis isn't, so. I just would rather go with the young players, and I'll probably trade 
Morales later on in the season. All right, um, and Vlad's there. So, I'll just take a look at the rotation. Stroma, Sanchez, Reed Foley, Bar Baruki, and Taylor Guerrieri. And our, we don't really have a closer. This guy's a 50 overall. F it. Let's just keep him on the team and see what he does. Um, I don't know what draft pick we're going to have this year either. We're doing good. We're 11, 12 and 7. I mean, we're young. I mean, if we win and we're young, that's fine. I don't expect us to win. I'd rather, I just don't want to be like 78 and 82 or something like that. Okay, I want us to just pick a direction. It looks like we're picking the let's lose a lot of games direction, which I'm fine with. We're 25 and 35. Uh, let's see how some of the players are doing. Pilar's okay. Urena's really struggling so far, but he's more of a defensive guy, and he's not even our number one shortstop prospect. I would just rather get our big time one get at bats. Vlad's doing actually really well. Um, he's up to an 80 overall, 281, 13 bombs, not too bad. A 533 slugging, that's really good. Smoke 260, 13 home runs. Greedchuck 271, two home runs. Tescar has 10 bombs. He's going up. He's an 82. All right, is it te is it Tescar or Teoscar? I thought it's Tescar. I could be wrong. Guriel Jr. 233, not great. Devin Travis is doing really good. 11 bombs. Jansen, more of a defensive guy. So the fact he's in 215 is pretty much what we expect. Stroman's been great at 305 ERA. Sanchez has struggled. He's been better recently. Reed Foley, he's our eighth potential. He's doing good. These guys have not been great. This 50 overall guys, ERA 635. Um, our bullpen's trash, but it is to be expected. Bo Bichette's doing pretty well in Trip Lake, just continuing to improve. He's only 20. Uh, Jonathan Davis, another outfielder. He's 26, but he's doing well in AAA. Where is... Is he in AA? Oh, we don't have Prado playing every day. I want Prado playing. That's a mistake of mine. And we have Pavin Smith. All right, we want him playing over this guy. Damn it, that's a waste of uh, at-bats. Kyle Murray. Let's get Kyle Murray in there. This guy's a C potential. So, um, we are at the draft. Just take best player available, but if there's anything that's like a, a tie that we can't decide, I want the pitcher. So we have the number 12 pick in round one. No competitive balance round eight picks. Round two, we have the 10th pick. Nothing there, nothing there. And then the 12th pick moving forward. So no extra picks. Oh, there's some, there's some can't miss guys. My blue chippers. So there's a catcher. 21 is a few years away. He's a little old for that. Juan Cruz is 20 is a few years away. I mean, it's a little old, but he doesn't really... Yeah, he's nothing really great at anything. 55 at, like, contact and power. He's kind of just average to above average at everything. There's not really a weakness to his game, just not strength. This guy's 22. I don't want to wait that long if I don't need to. A closer. I don't want to take a closer with the 12th pick in the draft. A starter. He is a few years away. Could have 75 stamina, 65 hits per nine, 55 case per nine, 65 walks per nine. Not the best walks per nine. Uh, a second baseman. 55 and 60 contact, 50 power, 60 speed, 75 steel. I mean, again, another guy who's not really great at anything. Um, a couple first basemen, not great at anything. A reliever, no thanks. A starter who's already 22, no thank you. Okay, this guy could be ready in like a year, a center fielder. 75 and 80 contact. 80 vision, 75 discipline. Could have 80 reaction with 80 speed, 80 steal, 80 fielding. This guy looks to be an elite base runner, elite fielder, elite contact, elite vision, elite discipline, average power, average arm. Bruno Armas is the leader in the clubhouse. A, a left fielder, 75 and 80 contact. This guy's very similar, but he plays left field instead of center field. And Bruno is the same age. He's 6'277, I'm just 6'4. This guy has a little bit more power versus left, um, but not as much speed, and I'd rather get the center fielder. A starter could have 80 walks per nine, and he's only 18. Ugh. Another starter, 75 walks per nine. I'm pro. Damn, there's some. Oh my god. This guy's a project. There's either. Wow, there's. Okay. I'm probably going to take Bruno, because I just think that. The the contact, speed, fielding, 
But I want to see where uh, Rudy Brennan ends up and then Medina. Albert Medina and I guess Ken Barisi. So we'll look at all those guys after the draft. So we're going to take Bruno. Bruno Armas. Hopefully he's a stud. Uh, there's that star to Barisi. So he went to uh, Tampa. Crap, in our division. Medina, the other starter, went to the Brewers. And Brennan went to the Cubs. That was... I was going to say, like, I that was almost like a toss-up between those where I almost took the starter, but I think that guy Medina could be... I mean, Armas, excuse me, could be a superstar. Shortstop here. Good arm. Uh, let's go back to the 80 potentials. This guy's a project. I might take Bear. Let's look at some stars. We might have some good walks per nine. 60 walks per nine. Because that's the big stat you want to find. A catcher, but probably not. Let's look at some pitching. Uh, unless the third baseman's good. Elite fielder. But we already have an elite prospect. 75 walks per nine. Domingo Gomez, welcome to the Blue Jays. All right. Round three. I think that, we, that guy hopefully is a stud. Not the best walks per nine, but I still might take him unless I don't see anyone better. This guy, this catcher could have 75 power with 80 fielding. I doubt he's that good because he's only like halfway scouted. But in the third round, we have to take that chance on the kid. All right, round four. That starter's still available. I'll probably take him unless I see someone else. Could have good power. I'll take it. It's hard to find power bat, so if you have a chance to get one, I'm going to take them. If that pitcher is available that's been at the top of our boards every pick, and he's not. I was going to say, I'm going to take him. I'll take this Roman guy. He's been around for a while. He's 20. He might take a few years, but we'll see. I believe this will be our last draft pick um, as the video is coming to an end, I feel like. I'll take this Pablo Vargas. See how we did in the draft. See how those other draft picks turned out. And then that would be it for the video. And then the next one we'll do some uh, trades at the trade deadline. Um, and finish the season. So. 94 potential. Good draft. And I just my head is blocking the last pick. Pablo's potential. It's 80. But Bruno has a 94 potential. Look at, look at the speed. 97 speed. 88 steal. 95 base runner aggressiveness. He has 67 and 71 contact already. No power. 77 vision, 68 discipline, 72 clutch. For some reason, his drag bunting's terrible. Durability is only 34. That is kind of a problem. Good fielding, but he's mostly going to be a DH who can play the outfield. Like He's going to be a good outfielder. He just can't play it every day. Um, that's still a very good pick. Gomez has 84 potential. That's really good. 71 overall. Uh, he's 21 years old. That's good. Uh, Fuentes, you know what? 79 potential. That may boost up. He's already 66 overall. He's only 20. You see the power is 58, 56. That's not too bad. 70 fielding. Bad durability. He's probably a backup catcher. But in the third round, a backup catcher is not bad. Luke Hudson is 88 potential. Look at the power. 66 first left, 62 versus right. He has solid speed at 78. Good stealing. Um, he has a chance to be an everyday player. Um, you get him in the fourth round, that's not bad. Roman was a bad pick at 70 potential. And then Vargas, 80 potential, 96 st speed, 83 steal, 81 base run aggressiveness, 92 durability. I mean, at worst, I feel like he can be like a guy who can just be a guy to steal bases. So let's see, did we make a mistake in the draft? Because we had other guys we could have taken. Wow, this guy looks good. I'm not sure if the Angels were ahead of us. 98 potential. Morale, that wasn't the guy. Um, ooh, your first pick, Washington, was a 63 over, a 63 potential. Wow, that's bad. Oh no! <laughs> no, <laughs> damn it! 99 potential for Rudy. Fuck. Damn it, and he has good durability. That guy's going to be so good. Fuck. God damn it. Medina's only a 92, okay. I believe the Rays had the other guy. That guy's really short, 5'7". He has 99 potential. But I think that he went like second or third. 
Baresi has 94 potential. Damn it, though. I mean, Bruno's really good, except for his durability. So he's probably going to be a DH. Oh, my God. But this dude... Oh, no. <laughs> he can hit. He's not as fast, but he can hit. He has more power. Great vision, discipline, clutch. Durability is there. Fielding. Oh, man. <laughs> Congrats, Cubs. You just drafted a potential Hall of Fame player. <laughs> Damn it. Um, we can take a real quick look to see if any of our prospects are on this. I mean, we did call up uh, Vlad. Bobachet's three. I missed that. And we have a lot of Bs, so they may slowly work their way up into this. I think that will end the video. We're about 25 minutes long. I hope you guys did enjoy this. Please drop a like if you did. I'll talk to y'all later, boys. Take it easy. Peace.